video, how's it going everyone? Hendrippy here today with another video. One week till the next set, set 19, and some nerfs coming soon, and some more news sprinkled in between. Let's talk about it. Starting with the JP news, continuing on with the Legion era, we have set 19, Divine Judgment of the Bluish Flames, released on June 1st, 2021, featuring the following units. Amon's Leader Aseroth for Dark Irregulars, Metalborg Sin Buster for Dimension Police, Bluish Flame Liberator Percival for Gold Paladin, Mesmerizing Witch Fianna for Shadow Paladin, Crackling Beast Tamer for Pale Moon, and Balsister Jilay for Oracle Think Tank. So again, six clans. Some clans are going to get a lot of support. Some clans are probably going to only get a handful of cards. We talked about some of these units in part two and three of my Legion Era TCG review. So be sure to check that out if you're interested because not all the cards are revealed yet but most of the skills are roughly the same in from the tcg 2.0 so let's talk about some reveals the most prominent one would be bluish flame liberator prominence core this card is an 11k grade 3 legions with aglovale oath liberator aglovale vanguard circle when your rear guard with the same name as your vanguard is placed from your deck if this unit is in legion this gets plus three and plus one crit until end of turn on pretty good i mean crit pressure is always solid in zero and um you know we, alongside the mate that means you have six searchable targets you have a lot of we uh you have a lot of top calling uh, ability in liberator as as you should know and gold paladin in general and um it's it, it's a condition that might be a bit rough to fulfill because you might have to call out itself to get the extra three crate and the crit but you know you can recycle triggers nowadays so it's not that bad in addition, it also has the skill Vanguard Circle once per turn. Count of us want to retire a Liberator Rear Guard to check top four and call a Liberator. So again, Bluish Flames is its own sub archetype in the archetype that is Liberators, but that doesn't mean that you have to play pure Bluish Flames. You know, you have some stuff like um, the 7K on on place from deck. So last one, draw one, which is still a pretty solid Liberator. You know, you still have your Blaster Blade Liberator. You still have your Zenith, Balan maybe. You know, Blast Relay Liberator right now is just too good. Zenith is just really strong. Um, so I don't know if you're going to be giving those up yet until Bluish Flames gets more further support maybe down the line. But at the moment, you know, you're still mixing a lot of key Liberator cards that from, from the past into Bluish Flames. And we can see that, you know, they still work. So, so you know, if you if you have any old stuff, it's good. Um, but if you don't, you know, you I think you're, you'll still be doing fine, but it doesn't hurt to have some old stuff. Next up, we have Bluish Flame Liberator Percival. This is the Trial Deck Legion. So it's more simple. You know, Vanguard Circle, when this is your Legion, top, check top four, call a Liberator, kind of same skill. And then when this attacks a Vanguard, it gets plus two. So this is kind of like a, a Wingle Seeker kind of situation where it's like a Trial Deck card. It's pretty simple, nothing special, um, but it's still good. It's still a plus one. And um, yeah, it also legions with Oath Liberator Aglovale, which means that, you know, your grade two slot doesn't really need to play too many different types of mates because you only need to really use that one mate at the moment. And um, it means that you open up space for, for other cards like Blaster Blade Liberator that isn't necessarily a bluish flame maybe. So Oath Liberator Aglovale, really good card, 9k grade two. Rear Guard Circle on place. If your Vanguard's a Liberator, kind of must want to check top three and call one. So this again, Great card, splashable in all liberators as well because it's just Caramelous 1 plus 1. Um, but of course, this is just better used in Bluish Flames because you're going to be top calling a lot, a lot, a lot. You could be recycling as well. So, Anglovel helps you just, you know, put down a field and um, start attacking. Put this down as an intercept, and then your opponent has to hit through it, and then you can re legion it back to the deck. Guarantee you get a main. It's, it's pretty solid, I think, overall. Uh, Bluish Flames does that kind of Neo Nectar Shadow Paladin esque kind of thing where you're like, um, you're 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 retiring your own friends, you're you're kind of filtering through your non triggers, and then you're you're kind of legioning them back in, and then you're kind of amassing the board that you want, um, but leaving the triggers in the deck. So it's pretty solid. I think they're doing a lot better job in Zero than in the TCG. In the TCG, there's a lot of recycling going on, but here you know you're still sticking primarily to the top calling. Uh, which is kind of the core of gold paladins after all so yeah pretty good let's go to the um the unfortunate news we have crackling beast tamer for pale moon uh you know vanguard circle with this unit legion karma three to call three cards from soul um and uh vanguard circle when your reward is placed from soul it gets plus three so i guess both skills synergize with each other um it isn't a silver thorn we've seen how strong silver thorn has been 
uh, primarily not even just because of the grade threes, but because of how strong the core is between the grade ones and grade twos and whatnot. But this card seems a bit underwhelming at the moment. You know, Karma's three is hard to come by. Um, don't really think they have any unflippers in Pale Moon at the moment, so it's hard to proc more than once. There are good aspects of it, like, you know, you still have your creamy fortresses, you still have your purple trapezes, these cards are always going to be good, but, you know, having to use this skill on Legion is a bit restrictive, and um, it doesn't really help, it doesn't really help. I, I don't know, I don't know if this card is going to see play, um, so unfortunately, Pale Moon players, you know, you're, you're expecting to be disappointed, and um, this is even more even more disappointing than I, I expected. So that, that's a huge shame. Barking Sky Tiger, also pretty bad. Primarily because this card skill is Rearguard Circle when your other Rearguard is placed from your soul. If your unit is Legion, then it gets plus 3. So if this card didn't have the Legion restriction, it could be pretty good. You know, it could be pretty good. Um, but unfortunately, it requires your, your unit to be in Legion. Um, so again, pretty pretty mediocre. To say the least, uh, I don't play Pale Moon, so I don't know the extent of it. But what I can say is that Silver Throne was just so good that, like, seeing this kind, this kind of Legion support, really, uh, it's just, it's just too, too stark of a contrast to say the least. Next up, we have some nerfs that we talked about. So a while back in May, they were gonna nerf uh, Wingle Liberator and more nerf like Silver Thorn stuff. So Wingle Liberator got nerfed already, but the Silver Thorn stuff had a huge, huge um, kind of feedback from the community and they decided to postpone it and um you know they did a survey they did a little survey here and um spring championship 2021 just happened so you know just for reference here's the day one sh uh, sheet and we're seeing you know legion legion stuff 30 percent seekers we're seeing like seven percent six percent genesis um but we're still seeing, you know, the, the top three from the Break Ride era. We're still seeing, you know, Golds. We're still seeing Kagura. We're still seeing Pale Moon. Pale Moon is, you know, quite, quite a, quite a strong percentage above the other decks, even though it didn't get support, right? And and it just goes to show how strong Silverthorn really is. And so Silverthorn, they finally got the nerfs. They got the uh, Marichika. Finally got the pronunciation right. The part Marichika and the Ana nerfed so the added effect text is that this ability may only be activated by a card with the same name once per turn um so yeah before you could just kind of use this as many times as you want as long as it as, it, as long as it hits karma one call anything out then you know copy itself you can do a lot of stuff uh, same as anna but personally i think this nerf is is a bit mild you know like uh, there there's a lot of crazy stuff you can do but primarily it's common with zelma right zelma zelma is like the uh the the, the, the kind of support that made these two more than what it was and um you know global clears we don't know when these nerfs will come over but zelma is coming soon in a week so maybe maybe global will get a taste of what's going on maybe not maybe they'll bring the nerfs early to global but who knows but you know will these nerfs really put a nail to silverthorn you know Will it will it end Silverthorn's dominance? I don't know. I don't know. I think personally, I think Silverthorns are still doing strong. Um, you know, like Golds, even with the nerf, they're still coming out strong. And um, Pale Moon isn't getting good support, but it doesn't really matter. The good thing about the Silverthorn deck is that they do stuff before LB4, and um, that's one of the things that kind of hurt a lot of LB4 decks in the Legion format is that Legion is a lot faster, and Silverthorn can still play play that game because they, they're active as soon as turn two and they can multi-attack and do a lot of crazy stuff even still have that you know crazy lb4 kind of break right push so you know i think it's it's mild i think it's fine but i hope i hope that they don't you know i hope that the new legion stuff is is good enough to kind of put a damper on the popularity of silver throne so they don't regret it and then you know go back to going with heavy heavy hammers on the nerfs and whatnot but let me know down below how you feel about the nerfs i think it's a bit mild but i think it's fine i think it's fine because we're seeing more and more crazier stuff in the legion era and um it's it's you know it's a pat on the back telling you to to maybe chill on the pale moon stuff but i think it's still good but uh yeah next up we have a little little message in game here so it seems that like you know if you have this message you you might have some like change their name to blue or whatnot if you know how to do that um 
so they're just saying that like they'll remove these kind of um changes uh, through the next maintenance but if you haven't changed that out yet you know maybe it's just safer rather than sorry to just get rid of it yourself first um you can still do this trick in global but they haven't really put out any notices on the global end so who knows but you know i don't think it's intentional per se because they didn't really advertise it but um you know that that's just what's going on in jp so maybe be be on a notice for global players all right so next up with global news we have the Miracle clan event from that started last week and will be ending on the 26th so as of the recording of this video it's the 23rd so you have three days left so hopefully everyone pulled an ample amount and got some good pulls um this event supports the Murakumo clan including the break ride and the reverse covert demonic dragon yakibo reverse of course so let me know down below how your pulls are so far and um check out my first hashtag shorts to see how i did i almost finished all the pieces so look forward to a deck profile coming soon so i'm pretty excited for that because yaki vogue is one of my favorite decks in the tcg and uh it's not that good in zero but i think it's definitely fun another small hiccup right here is that grenjin so demonic hair stealth grow grenjin the grade 2 9k um in-game tech states boost so when an attack hits a vanguard if it was boosted by this unit blah 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 um, it's a grade 2, you know, there are no skills that gives this card boost, so it's clearly not possible. The correct text is it, when this unit attack hits a vanguard, if this unit was boosted. Um, it works like that, so don't worry about that typo, but just a minor hiccup. Um, no biggie, but uh, if you didn't know that, you know, the text was supposed to be if this unit was boosted, then you probably would have had a big question mark on the skill. Um, don't worry too much about it. I'm sure they'll fix it soon enough. And that's it. We're roughly one week away from the new stuff. So let me know down below which clan from set 19 or set 16 you are most hyped for. Me personally, I'm looking forward to Shadow Witches for JP and Duels for Global. Um, and again, if you haven't checked out set 16 set overview, go check that out. It's in my channel somewhere. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reveals in the coming days. So be sure to swing by the Discord for our discussions. You know, it's in, on the community page. So go check that out, I guess and um finally like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more and i'll see you all very soon looking forward to the reveals and hope you all have a good week bye